We already learned that there are several ways to represent a function, including verbally using a table, etc. But in this class, we will focus on functions that are fully described by equations, and also we will study the graphs of these functions since we have already learned how to make the graph of equation. When we deal with this type of functions, it is convenient to adapt some conventional notation. So for this equation that describes how the area of the circle can be determined by the radius of the circle, when we look at it as a function, the radius is the independent variable or the input, and the area is the dependent variable or the output. We can give this function a name, say, area. And now this function can be rewritten this way. This means that a is a function of r, which is inside the parentheses, and the function name is area. And the rule of calculation for this function is a equals to pi r squared. Now, if you look at this function, notice that this is actually exactly the same as the previous function, even though it has different symbols. They are the same because they describe exactly the same relation between the two variables. In this case, x and y, and the function name is a simple f. Again, x is inside the parentheses, and it's the independent variable, or the input, and y is the dependent variable or the output. F now is the name of the function. But f x together represents the function value evaluated at x, and lastly, this is the rule of relation. But since here it is an equation, therefore it is the rule of evaluation. So shown on this slide is the most common way of function notation. However, please be reminded again: you can change x, y, and f to other symbols or letters as long as it's not confusing. And once again, this is the same function as the previous one because they describe the same relation. It describes how the area of a circle is calculated based on the radius of the circle. Now let's talk about how to evaluate a function. Look at this new function and evaluate f parentheses two. This means that. To find the value of the function when x equals to two, the symbol x in the function is like a placeholder. So to evaluate f two, simply replace all the x in the equation with two, or substitute x equals to two into the equation, whichever way you prefer to interpret it, and then do the calculation, and get the answer, eleven. Therefore. F evaluated at two equals to eleven. If you are asked to evaluate f at t plus one, you follow the same rule and replace all the x with now t plus one. Do the calculation and rearrange and get the answer. So the function f evaluated at x equals to t plus one is. T squared plus forty plus six, or even to evaluate f x minus one. Again, the same function name means that you need to follow the same calculation rule, which is governed by the given equation. So we do the same thing and substitute all the x with x minus one, and get the answer: x squared plus two. Sometimes the function is defined by more than one equation, and this is known as the piecewise function since the function is made up of several pieces, like this one. Pay attention to these nodes here. As you can see, depending on in which interval x falls in, the function is evaluated by different equations. For example, if we want to evaluate f zero, 
since the number zero falls in the first interval for the x values, therefore we use the first equation to evaluate it. 0 0.2 times 0 to the second power, and that equals to 0. Or if we want to evaluate f12, since 12 is more than 10 but smaller than 20, it falls in the second interval, therefore we use the second equation to evaluate it, 2.4 times 12 minus 4, that equals to 24.8. Or if we want to evaluate f25, since 25 falls in the third interval for the x values, therefore we use the third equation, which is simply a constant 48. How about f40? Which equation should we use? The answer is none, and f40 for this function is undefined. The reason is 40 is outside the interval for the x values, therefore it is literally not defined for an x value of a 40.